Ladies and gentlemen, Mila J. Yes. Hey, how are you? What up? What up? I'm good. Good to finally meet you. You too. I feel like, wait, I feel like I know you because of Instagram. Yes. That's why. <laughs> Twitter is so weird. Like you feel like you know someone because yeah. you follow them on social media. That's crazy. Well, we do now. It's official. <laughs> yeah, we finally We've met. met though. Exactly. So tell me, Mila J, made in LA, J, what is that about? Yes. Well, okay. Well, my name's. My name is Jamila, so it's like Pig Latin, Mila J. And then, um, you know, one day I had this bright idea, like, wait a minute, I'm born and raised in L.A., and I was like, this couldn't stand for made in L.A., so it just worked, you know what I mean? Think about that. Mila J, made in L.A., J. Boom! Yes, and I'm really from L.A. That's awesome. Yeah. We're here with Foot Action. We're talking about fashion. We're talking about style. How would you say that your fashion has evolved over the past couple years? Um, how would I say it is, it's evolved? Um, I do think I've gotten a little tighter with stuff. I feel like, oh, well, I'm naturally a tomboy. I don't think that's ever going to go away. My mom, I thought it was a phase, but it's like I'm still, <laughs> I just prefer guys' clothing and like kind of making guys' clothing sexy versus the other way around. But, um, you know, I just, I would definitely say I'm not into prints as much as I was before. Before, you know, I've kind of grown out of that whole thing, so I don't really like a lot of logos. Um, here and there, it's cool, but overall, just I like more like clean cut stuff. Where would you say you get your inspiration from when it comes to your music and when it comes to how you dress? For my music, um, well, just growing up, well, first of all, I just, I still like to say, like, I love 90s music, period. Um, and I actually grew up listening to a lot of rap. So I actually listen to a lot of hip hop um, that inspires me. And um, for dressing, you know, I really feel like street style. When you just see certain people, you know, I mean, you could just look at the street and be like, okay. I like that, you know, take a little bit of this, take a little bit of that. Are you driving, are you driving like down LA sometimes? No, you're not looking, no, but I just feel like a lot of the cool Cause stuff, I know it, I do that. It, you see like a lot of cool stuff too on like, you know, just like random people. And you're like, that is like a really cool concept. Actually, my dad too, like he'll, the way he puts stuff together, it's like, okay, I like that. I'll take nice. that and, and freak it, so yeah. Sometimes I'm driving and I'm like, yo, that, those are some kind of cool, cool pants that he's rocking. You know what I'm saying? Like, nothing wrong with that either. No, it's like, not. Literally, like you're in the street, and you're like, oh wow. That, 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 I think, but I think that's where most people get their style from. You know, like the things, like the everyday people. When you see something, you're like, okay, that's dope. And then you kind of make it your own and mix it with other things. And uh, me, I'm all about how I feel, so it's like I have to be comfortable in whatever I'm wearing. So definitely got to have comfort involved. You just got off the stage with G Easy. Yes. Here at Cali Christmas. How was that? First time performing at Cali Christmas? Yes, first time at Cali Christmas. First time um, performing in the form. And this is actually a crazy moment because my first concert I've ever seen was here too, which was, wow. I was a child. I was like one. I came to the Purple Rain concert with like earplugs in my ear. Wow. Saw Janet here. That's my favorite tour, the Velvet Rope tour. So it's like, this is a dope like moment. So like, you know, and then the, the form is already done now. So it was like, cool. Like, okay, I guess performing the new form. But um, yeah, shout out to G-Eazy for having me. It was, the energy was dope. You just talked about Prince. As I was walking down backstage, they have a bunch of different artists on the walls. Like, it's painted their names and how many times they performed here. Prince has performed 15 times here at the Forum. I saw him again for Musicology. I came like three nights in a row because, you know, like tickets were like real good prices. I was like, oh, I'm going to all these shows. But yeah, it was crazy. His show was phenomenal. So yeah, definitely grew up. Like I said, that was my first concert. Was fun fact, I was actually in a Diamonds and Pearls video. So cool. You talk, lastly, you talked about how you're, you have a tomboyish style. Let's talk about sneakers. Yes. What is your go-to sneakers? Okay, I love sneakers. Like, I, of course, I love Jordans, but um, I don't know. I'm just like a Nike kind of girl. Like, I like, but usually it's a Jordan. Yeah, Jordan and Tim's. Like, I like. I gotta be flat on my feet. You know what I'm saying? You never know what's about to pop off. <laughs> no, no, but I love, no. Like I said, though, I like to be comfortable. I do dance, so it's like I like to have on, you know, a flat shoe. So I have a feeling that you could dance with Tim's on. Yes, I can. But my favorite, I will say. I, li I like Air Maxes a lot too, but the Jordan 3s are like, that's like my ultimate. I love cements. That's like my ultimate. I've been asking people all night, so I've heard 11s a lot. I've heard 6s, and mine are the 1s. 1s? Nobody said the 3s? Nobody said the 3s. You're the first person. Oh, well, here you go. Mila J's with the 3s. Mila J, thank you so much. Thank you.